So for more on Garneau's failed leadership bid and why he could have been a potentially dangerous rival for Prime Minister Harper and his government, Stephen Taylor joins us now. He's the director of the National Citizens Coalition and he's with us live in the nation's capital. So let me start by reading the tweet that you issued about two hours ago. You said Garneau was the only viable liberal candidate that conservatives would have had a hard time attacking. He's a bit of a national hero. That's what you said, Stephen Taylor. So uh, people <laughs> quite disappointed at uh, what happened this morning. Some people were definitely rooting for uh, Mr. Garneau. So what's happening right now? Well, yeah, in a race where uh, it seems like it's all about uh, front runner uh, Justin Trudeau, uh, I mean, people keep talking about that celebrity factor, but that celebrity factor actually could come back and harm the Liberals. Uh, with Mark Garneau, the Liberals actually had a very credible candidate, first Canadian astronaut in space, uh, whereas uh, Justin Trudeau's resume is relatively thin on details up till now. Exactly. In terms of also, um, I guess, substance, when it comes to substance and um, Justin Trudeau, I guess it doesn't go together. And I guess Mark Garneau definitely reiterated that during his campaign. So uh, what do you feel in terms of what uh, Justin Trudeau can do now in terms of uh, pumping up his credibility when it comes <laughs> to having a little bit more, uh, I guess, uh, credibility when it comes to running a party? Well, I think he'll have a lot of help uh, with uh, other media outlets. I think we'll see a lot of media narratives in the future like, oh, how, how much has he matured? How much he's really grown into the role? We'll see that over the next year or so as uh, Justin Trudeau essentially tries to grow into his father's suit. Um, but you'll see uh, like uh, the Tories and the NDP, they'll be bringing out clips of Mark Garneau during the li Liberal leadership race saying, you know, there's no on-the-job training uh, to be Prime Minister and, uh, you know, there's that constant narrative in politics, just not up for the job. Also, Justin Trudeau seems to be riding on this uh, fully on his celebrity and not really on a lot of uh, substance to become Prime Minister. Mm -hmm. And watching the uh, press conference that uh, Mark Garneau gave this morning, it, he seemed very nervous, first of all. And uh, just throwing his support behind uh, Justin Trudeau seemed pretty odd. And what are your thoughts on that? Because uh, it seems as though he was definitely a big rival and now it's essentially they're friends. Yeah, well, there was a rumor that, uh, I mean, when they were looking at the leadership numbers, uh, we, we don't have exact numbers right now. And we saw Justin Trudeau's camp uh, float out there that they had 150,000 supporters signed up. And really, the party really only has about 80,000 uh, registered votes out of the 294,000 supporters that were su supposedly signed up. But I think uh, Mark Garneau actually got a bit of a sneak peek at the numbers, which he alluded to today. Uh, suggesting he was in second place, but that Trudeau had a whopping lead at 72 percent of uh, polled liberal supporters. So if he's at 72 and Garneau was at about 15, there's no way that Garneau could catch up. But meanwhile, Joyce Murray's campaign said, hey, wait a second here. I don't know. We don't know what uh, numbers Garneau is looking at because uh, I think a lot of people in the media and a lot of observers have uh, noted that Joyce Murray's campaign has actually got more support than Garneau is uh, letting on. Yeah, speaking of uh, Joyce uh, Murray, Stephen, uh, at this point, I mean, there's seven candidates left. Uh, is Joyce Murray someone that's going to take over the uh, number two spot? or? Well, I, that's the thing. I think uh, some people are saying today that uh, Mark Garneau dropped out of the race because his team had always billed this as a two-man race. Well, here's Joyce Murray actually who could actually be second. And when all the numbers are counted, it would have been pretty embarrassing for Mark Garneau to show up uh, in third. People were saying that uh, I had heard that uh, he had only sold about, or sold, <laughs> signed up about 7,000 members. In other words, he got the email addresses of 7,000 people who he met, I guess. And, uh, but Justin Trudeau, uh, again, if those numbers are correct, 150,000 supporters. But with only 80,000 people registered to vote, uh, we really could see a bit of a disappointing number uh, for engaged Liberals. And also, if this is going to be a coronation for the Liberal Party and not a competitive race, that really doesn't engage a party and bring them up to the status that they need to be to be a competitor against the NDP, either for official opposition or against the Conservatives for government. Yeah, interesting stuff, Stephen. Thank you. Thank you. That's director of the National Citizens Coalition, Stephen Taylor, joining us live in the nation's capital.